do you listen to them Philly fans? They're booing the Walter Payton Man of the Year award. I tell you, an angel could descend down from heaven. He will blind puppy, and then Philly fans would just be like, boo! This week's episode of Pittsburgh Dad is brought to you by the law firm of Bordis and Bordis. This perceived notion that the people in Pittsburgh are pulling for Philadelphia just because we're in the same state is a national embarrassment. Just because we're neighbors with you don't mean we like you. You think that France was rooting for Germany back in WW2? You're talking about a city whose greatest culinary achievement is squirting cheese whiz on something. I act like you invented that. That's the last thing setting up in the cupboard. Here's some spray cheese. What's your next recipe? And a can of pumpkin pie filler up on something. Can we just let the Eagles win so all their fans destroy Philadelphia while celebrating? Because then everybody gets what they want. How's come Patrick Mahomes always walks around like he's wearing a poop diaper? Trust me, I had three toddlers. I know that walk. Sneak off behind the catch, come back, junk in the trunk. What are you doing behind the drapes, Patrick? And he is the MVP. Most visible poop pants. Is Rihanna doing a Super Bowl halftime show in a Super Mario Brothers level? You can at least throw some piranha plants in there and make it interesting. What about looking at me says I know even one Rihanna song? My pop music knowledge makes it about as far as TLC's waterfall, then I'm out. But for next year's halftime show, you give me Scatman, I'm all in. Skidididibi bum ba da bum, bum ba da bum. You want to talk about captivating the country. Be ba 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 da dum. That's music. Rihanna kind of looks like Deb when she's wrapped up in a blanket watching TV on a catch. From October to April, you want to find Deb, she's in a blanket. And not just one blanket, no, neither. She's got the living room blanket, the family room blanket, the drinking coffee in the kitchen blanket, the going out to get the mail blanket, the just walking around blanket. Oh, look, Alicia Silverstone's doing a Clueless commercial. As if watching Matt Canna run an offense all season weren't enough Clueless for me this year. Way to end an exciting Super Bowl with a holding call. We was all waiting for that final two minute drive and then <laughs> Philly just lost the World Series and now the Super Bowl. I wonder how they're taking this. There ain't gonna be nothing left in that town except a couple of them rocky steps and a few locks of John Crux hair. It serves them right for giving us government. Thanks, Philly. Travis Kelsey, knock it off with a whole nobody thought we could win it garbage. You have been to three Super Bowls in four years. You sound like the Roadrunner saying that everybody picked Wiley Coyote. Or like Superman complaining that everybody thought the train would win. Well, what's next? The Harlem Globetrotters gonna be like, nobody gave us a chance. The only team in the history of sports that nobody believes in, the Browns. End of list. Hey, make sure you subscribe. You know who else wants you to subscribe? Beep, bop, 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 bop.